Hi, it's Pete Norston here again from Train on Sports. I'm just going to highlight to members uh, before we get um, the messenger up and running in a couple of weeks, you know, how we'd like it. I just want to show them what they really they should be looking for and what they are to look out for. Let's have a look at the, the, the uh, messenger today and see what it came up with. At six o'clock this morning, uh, Barcelona versus Real Madrid. Uh, good volume in the match and potential back of Barcelona at 1.84. So let's have a, a look at this uh, game. If we sort by volume, Barcelona versus Real Madrid. Let's have a look at uh, from 6 o'clock this morning. Now as we can see, this is quite a strong indicator. Um, we've got blue all through here and what's obviously happened, um, uh, the bot sort of recalibrates itself uh, overnight and so the first alert comes out at 6 o'clock in the morning and it was a back of Barcelona at 1.84. As you can see the, the indicators are strong, there's a nice blue here so, so we know that the, the, the price has been coming in. And so basically, if you were to enter at 1.84, I suggest you put a stop loss around 1.87. Throughout the day, the price moved in as it came into 1.83. Again, you'd move your stop loss into 1.86. As it comes into 1.82, you'd move it in to 1.85, 1.81. Then you put your stop loss where you entered at 1.84. And so basically, you've got a free run there. And at the moment, uh, they're uh, trading at 1.75. So that's a quite a nice nine tick move there. And obviously, there's plenty of volume here. So you, 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 can, you can get you know, quite a bit of money into that market. So that is a very good play. In fact, that, that's, that's almost like a perfect storm, really. Um, if we have a look um, on, the, uh, on the alerts this morning, like I say, I like that one. Barcelona, Real Madrid, Barcelona, Real Madrid. Again, as we can see, it's been very strong throughout the day. If we, if we have a look through to the... Now we're recording this at 4.30. Um... 4.30 Barcelona versus Real, potential back of Barcelona. So Barcelona, uh, the, the, the momentum is still going with them. Let's have a look at some more here. Um, Everton versus Leicester, potential back of Everton at 2.94. I don't quite like this. I think, I think I would only get involved personally with prices that I like. You know, I like to get involved in prices to and below. I, I, I don't like the, the potential back of Everton 2.94. If that trade goes against you and you haven't got a stop loss, if that goes below above three, then you, you're moving out five ticks each one that goes against you. So I wouldn't put you know substantial money into that market. It would only be into the markets that are below two. Um, again, the potential back of Everton, it's been showing every half hour Potential back of Everton, 1 o'clock, 1.30, it's gone into 2.88, but then, yeah, 2 o'clock, it's 2.94, it's still highlighting uh, a back of Everton at, uh, at uh, 2.30, 3 o'clock, 3.30, so it's still quite strong, and indeed 2.84. Let's see where that goes. Again, 4 o'clock. So it's still suggesting a back of Everton, and let's have a look at that 2.8. We'll have a look at this game. Like I say, this is something that I probably wouldn't get involved in, though, in truth. So we say about 11 o'clock, 2.98, the, 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 the back... It went out to three, and it's come down into two point eight. So, it, you know that is a good move. There's no, there's no question about it. That is a good move. But the problem is, uh, if you get in at two point nine eight, you're going to put your stop loss around three. If that jumped up to three point zero five, you're sort of in a world of grief, really. And, and I wouldn't recommend. You can, you can, obviously, you can put a tight, a tight 
stop loss in at 2.98, 2.96, but you've got to allow the trade just a little time to breathe. Everything was looking good there, but but that's this is something what I say, I personally wouldn't get involved with that. The Barcelona one is the only one that I've 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 looked at and got involved with today. Let's have a look at the the rest of them. Let's see if there's anything else really that's pointing out. There's a potential lay of Frankfurt here at 1.99, but again, it's too close to two. I prefer it to be under two, really. Uh, let's see if there's anything else that's popping up. Potential lay, potential back of Leverkusen, and that could be of interest. Leverkusen. No, that's really, really the only one. That, that's really, ah, Leverkusen versus Berlin. That was seen at three o'clock, but that's sort of come in and out. So we can see back of Leverkusen at three o'clock. So that started at three o'clock. But then at 3.30, you see, it, it, it's disappeared. It's come back at four o'clock. So this suggests that that, that price is it, it is not doing it as what it should. So let's have a look at this game then, the Leverkusen game. As we said, three o'clock. This was when the money started coming in, 1.58. It has moved into 1.55, but again, uh, the indicators weren't suggesting clear blue uh, and, and weren't suggesting a, a, a back of Leverkusen. So that would suggest you'd probably... Myself, if I got involved in this game at 3 o'clock, 1.58, and I saw that the weakness, that it wasn't coming on here at 3.30, 4 o'clock, 3.30, then you know, this, you know there's something not quite right, and I'd have probably scratched out at that time. Here you've got to take, you're going to be taking quite a few scratches, and you're going to take some small losses, but hopefully your winners will be good winners where you can stay in the market. And you can stay in the market with confidence because here, basically, the, the bot here and the, uh, the application here and the messenger board is telling you to stay in. Well, I hope you've picked up something from this. Like I say, what you're looking for is over 50,000 generated here. You're looking for four blues, and then you can get in with some confidence there. Like I say, we've still got a little bit of work to do on this uh, messenger. I'm hoping to have it uh, done in a couple of weeks. Uh, the guy that uh, uh, does all, weaves his magic, uh, it, it, obviously it's Christmas time, he has a family, so he's going to be fairly, um, pretty much out of action for the next two weeks. He will work on this, and so let, let, we'll look for to hopefully release this um, for the first weekend uh, uh, of the new year. Um, most of the uh, European leagues are going on international break and indeed uh, there's a break on the Premier League for, for FA Cup uh, third round matches around the 4th of, of January. But hopefully we'll, we'll, we'll look to release it for either New Year's Day or shortly afterwards.